Hmm. Is it time for bed? Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. Let's pick that up and um, make more. And... Um, oh yeah, we need more spirit flame. There was that one spider web in the gloaming blocking our way. Yes, we don't need to water anything today because um, it rained yesterday. That's lovely that the soil stays watered the next day as well after the rain. today. Cabbages and pumpkins. We'll also be able to make some money when we sell some of that produce. So that'll be nice because um <laughs> We really need money. We'll leave the flowers alone so that the bees will produce us some honey. Good morning, Cleopatra. Hey there, kitty. Didn't you, kitty? Okay, let's go see if... Well, first we'll go here. Oh, we had two mulberry leaves. Nice. That'll take one more day. All right. Hello, Natalia. Vanessa's done so much for Otto's campaign already. I wish I could take some work off her plate, but she always says no. I don't know how she manages all that and the entire school. I would like some iron ingots. Let's make ten just for good measure. And, um, let's go and see about the shops. It must be election time again. I can tell because Otto actually stopped to talk to me. I work right next to his dad, and I think he said hello to me twice in four years. I don't think he talks to his dad all that much either. At least I have that impression. Ah, uh, no cinnamon day. Um... Let's sell the blue cloth. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah, uh, still no cinnamon. Well, I would like to get... An apple tree seedling and a lime tree seedling. 
Because those are the trees that we currently do not have. Let's go and plant these seedlings and then we'll go see Zephyr now that we have the materials needed for our first whirly gig. Levitation potion. That'll be easy. Oh, right. We can only have four requests at once. Hello? Do you have the items we need to make your first whirly gig? Yes, here they are. Great! <sighs> Come back tomorrow and I'll have it ready. Now, uh, of course, we need to wait. Fall is harvest time, right? Oh, I wonder how Thomas is getting on. It takes a lot of machinery and good condition to pull off a harvest. I better have a look-see in his shed while he's sleeping. No, that's so sweet. Aww, I love that. She's going to secretly help him. We went to visit Dad Milkwater recently. He couldn't remember my name, but he was so happy to see us. I'm gonna count that as a success. Aww. Let's sell some of our produce and then we'll go see what exactly Perry is selling in her shop. Hmm. I don't think we want to sell any more than that. Sophia? Oh, closed. What kind of a cafe is closed on Saturdays? Seriously? You'd think that the cafe would be open both Saturdays and Sundays. Seeing as, you know, the weekend is the time when people probably have the most free time. But, um, oh well. Let's go and see Perry. When did you come here, Perry? Long enough ago to have seen many wilds come and go. Your High Priestess has great expectations that you'll follow in your ancestors' footsteps. I suppose we shall see. No, I intend to keep up the wild name and reputation. So we know about anemones, but um, a molly? A moly? Uh, okay, just takes seven days, four days, matures into a useful crossing. Okay, so I guess anemones and molies are ones that we can plant anywhere, or so anywhere in the gloaming. And the magic beans are for like specific spots or specific uses only. Hmm. Ah, we could 
could sell potions here. And magical flowers. Oh, right. So that's why we may want to grow more magical flowers than we need. Because we could make a profit with them. Welcome to my humble little shop. See? I really am a rare bookseller. Just, um, very rare books. I used to have fantasies about browsing books in stores like this. What kind of books are these? Many of them are incantation collections. There's some history of magic and magical theory mixed in too. Oh, and detective stories. I love a good detective story. Uh, by the way, the last time I was in town, Kai mentioned he'd sold you a mulberry seedling. Do you have any extra mulberries? I'll check. What are you making? Oh, just a incantation. That's not vague at all. It's for, uh... Oh, I, uh... <clears throat> you see? It's okay. You don't have to tell me. As long as you're not making, I don't know, some magical bomb. I would never. I was joking. Mostly. Let me see about those mulberries. Uh, well, Wesley? Here you are, Wesley. Enough mulberries for an entire pie. Ugh. No, what I'm making is much more interesting. And what you're making is... Oh, fine. Okay, okay. I've been researching ways to lessen the effects of lycanthropy. That is... being a werewolf. I would prefer to be a little less, uh, werewolf-ish. But you have such lovely fur! That's kind of you. However, being a were-creature comes with plenty of downsides. One of the texts I read suggested that an incantation made with ink of the mulberry might help. I hope you get what you want. <sighs> Me too. Here, take this. Fair is fair. Aww. I've been reading about old Russian harvest festivals now that it's finally fall. My dad may have been a deadbeat, but I still like learning about the place he came from. Maybe if I can find a potion that lasts for an entire flight, I could even go there someday. No. Let's see. Can we sell him anything? Maybe unlock the uh, summon small things and speed boost that lasts longer. Uh huh. Six hundred. Okay. <sighs> well, I guess we're not buying those today. We need to get some more money somehow. So we can buy both of those. Ariel? Ah, there you are. Petty says that the coven let a wraith escape from the gloaming. That is serious. I have been here many centuries, and I have not seen that happen for some time. Um, what happened last time? It is better that I not say. Uh, well... We didn't exactly let it escape. There was nothing we could do. Well, let's look for some more of those unopened chests. We have a couple of lockpicking incantations on us, so, um... We'll see if we can find more of those artifacts or documents about the history of this place. The ones that Giva is so interested in. Need to be careful when looking around because 
Ah, there's the one that I've already opened. If I miss the chest, I could possibly miss one of those artifacts. So, yeah, I am um, gotta be careful here and uh, keep a very, um, very watchful eye out for those chests. I don't want to have to go through these levels a second time. Well, I mean, maybe if I'm looking for like a particular kind of ore I will but I just want this search for chests to actually be um conclusive that after this I'll know that there aren't any unopened chests on these levels. I'm uh, not seeing any. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh. there's one. What's inside? I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. I was beginning to worry that I'd missed them. Chopped cheese sandwich. Danish. And New England chowder. Nice. New recipes. Not exactly what I was looking for, but... Nice, all the same. I still have one more lockpick incantation on me. So, um, let's see if we can find another chest. Level 11 doesn't seem to be any chests here. Nope. All right. Level 12. Nothing so far. Okay, next. Level 13. Nah, already midnight. Nothing there. Level fourteen. I don't have time to explore that all the way. Let's get to bed. Nah, I guess we could have Time for another bed. day in this episode. It hasn't been 20 minutes yet. And 
and looks like we have some more mulberries. Should we maybe make some incantations for sale? Oh yeah, we had two leaves yesterday, so these are both already going. We do need money. We could go and sell some incantations to Wesley. Just gotta look after our crops fast. Oh, and we'll also need to go to town. See if Kai is selling cinnamon today. Drinks all done. Good morning, Cleopatra. <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, Kitty? Let's make some incantations. Summon rain. Okay. It's not too bad. I guess we could see what the summon drain spell sells for because really that's pretty easy to make ah oh, we need more copper essence Do we want to make any potions to sell to Perry? Instead of powdered calcium, we could also use bone meal. Okay. Good to know. I think we have a lot of bones. Let's make some of this. We'll go and see if Kai has any cinnamon to sell us today. Marty asked me if I wanted to join the party and I was like, party? Yeah, dude, that sounds cool. But he meant the Marty party, which is not as cool. Nah, true. Ooh, cinnamon. We could also buy a second orange tree.
Oh yeah, Mulberry is for Sophia. This is just wonderful. I owe you a few free turns at the jukebox next time you come in. I wish Angus and Francis were having one of those fancy ceremonies where everyone dresses to the nines, but not every wedding can be like mine. Well, I'm really happy with what they have planned. Hey, you made it back from your first adventure in the you-know-what. <laughs> nice. Um, was there ever any doubt? Considering our history with the place, yes. Oh, yeah. True. Let's go and plant. Yeah, we don't really have any super easy requests there. Except maybe for the iron ore. But let's go and plant the orange tree seedling. And once we've done that, we'll go and see um, Zephyr about the whirly gig. And now we can take this request, make us some more money. How long were you planning on letting me believe that you lived in Milkwater? Well, it's what the residents of Fairhaven have always assumed, so I just went with it. Is it strange living among the Fae? Since you were born human. Yes. I still feel like I have a lot to learn about Fae customs and rules. I do miss having low-stakes human conversations sometimes. But I'd rather avoid going to town if it's not necessary. Well, if you're nervous about being around civilians, you could come visit the coven at our circle. <sighs> I'm not sure that's a good idea. You only meet at night, and I think I make some of your members uncomfortable when I'm in my wolf form. Plus, sometimes I have a hard time controlling my howling. I hope you don't mind my saying so, but I see a lot of hazel in you. I hope you decide to stay on, and come visit us in Ravenwood Hollow whenever you need anything. <laughs> Well, absolutely. Excellent. I can get to work now. So did your mom also come to Alaska from Russia? <laughs> no, she didn't come from anywhere. She grew up in Alaska. My grandparents would have preferred that she didn't marry a random foreigner. But when my dad left, they helped raise my brother and me. <sighs> I wish I could see them again. No. Oh, I guess we could, um, we could make those summoned rain incantations to sell. Oh, we can just buy one. Well, we'll have to come back for the summon small things that last longer another day. Is my whirly gig done? Yep, here it is. No. Um, it doesn't do much. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I, I haven't powered it yet, silly. I'll deliver the whirly gig to your home free of charge. But you'll need a powered gem like this one to power it. Now this baby will do a great job, but you won't last forever. Different gems can hold different charges. If you bring me more, I can charge them so you can replace this one when it runs out. I can also make other kinds of whirly gigs for different tasks. Uh, but won't my neighbors notice that I have a magical device watering my crops for me? If anyone asks, just say you imported it from Europe. And people will believe me? Yeah! How else do you think Hazel ran the farm on her own all those years? <laughs> Alright. Um, as a European though, well, um, 
So that Baker fella's getting married, is he? Aw, oh, good for him. He better not go on any post-wedding trips. Then I won't be able to pop in behind his bakery and <sighs> smell the cakes in the oven. Ooh. Zephyr, that's creepy. Nah, I know, <laughs> but I can't help it. Aww. I love her. As a European, I, um... I do feel obliged to tell you that we don't really have anything like the whirly gigs over here. Logging whirly gig. Mining whirly gig. Wow, that's a lot of uh, gold and silver ingots. Fishing whirly gig. Provide it with enough bait and tell it where to go fishing and they'll... Um, They'll fish up a lot of fish. Alright. The livestock whirly gig is going to be very useful once we get more livestock on our farm. Ooh. So the powered ruby, diamond, and emerald need um pearl dust okay but the uh lower tier gems the uh sapphires amethysts and topazes can be powered using bone meal which is great because we do get a lot of bones from our cat. Well, not not our cat, but um Cleocatra. She uh very often gives us bones. Let's see if we can make this pranking pumpkin pie potion now. Eight hours, so it won't be ready in time for tonight's coven meeting, but it will be ready for tomorrow. That's fine. So, um, ah, we need parchment and essence of silver and forget me nots. Hmm. I guess it's not impossible to get those. But for now, I'm thinking we'll probably be using the the um ordinary speed boost for a while longer. We only have one, forget me not. Uh huh, this can hold six chickens. Let's go into the mines and um, look for those chests. Level 14. Nothing yet. Uh huh, there's one. What's inside? I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Ooh, recipes. Lobster Termidor, Pumpkin Spice Latte, and Ramen. Hmm. Ugh, oh, we have no more of those lockpicking incantations. Well, um, let's just 
take a look. This way, we'll see if there are any more chests here. There's one on floor or, or level 15. We'll just make a mental note and um, then we'll come back here to open that once we have some more lock picking incantations. Oh, there's two on level 15. What about level 16? One. Level 17 we already know about. Two here as well. Okay. We'll need four more lock picking incantations. I don't think we have enough magic before at the moment. They do take a lot. Yeah. I think we can make one more. Yep. And that'll be all of our magic. Let's quickly go and open the chests on level 15 and then we'll hop from there straight into the coven meeting because we need to fill up our magic what's inside i cannot see i'll open you up and set you free Powered Amethyst. What about the other one? It's over here. What's inside? I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Aha. Uh -huh. Dear Joanna, I wanted to wait until I got off the ferry to tell you this, but I need to hear what you think. Hazel and Robert have told me about a plot of land that's for sale. The soil's good, Joanna, as good as my parents' farm. There's even a loft in the attic you could use as an art studio. And it's right near the beach, so we can take Thomas and Crystal swimming. Just think about it. We can talk more when I get home. Love, Billy. Okay, so that's, um, that's Thomas's parents, right? Wow. Let's get to the coven meeting. Replenish our magic. We need a lot. And oh, um, we need to go water the flowers over here as well. I wonder, does it ever rain in the gloaming? Like when it rains in Fairhaven? Uh, do we still need to water the flowers in here? Even when it's a rainy day in Fairhaven? Probably, right? Ugh, so I should have come here yesterday to water these. Oh well, I'll try to remember to come here every day from now on to do the watering.
And what do we have here? A barrier? Blossoms. Do you want to listen to it? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Ever since I was a little girl, the wraiths have been getting stronger. Once when I was ten, a wraith escaped, took over poor Mr. Gibson, and he let all his cows loose. <laughs> it was funny then. Not so funny now. I heard about Mr. Gibson. I had no idea he set his cows loose because of a wraith. What else could my mom have told me if she'd been there? I'm sorry, Violet. Don't be sorry. Coming here is the closest I've gotten to her for years. So the raids can uh, take over people. That's a bit scary. Oh, and uh, that's where we need a magic bean. Okay, so I wonder, is the Wraith going to take over somebody this time as well? I wonder who it's going to be. We have a ton of these mushrooms. I'm just going to use them to replenish my magic. And... Um, Let's make a couple more of those lockpicking incantations. open up the chests on floor 16 or level 16. Now where were they? There's one. What's inside I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Uh-huh. Dad, did you ever see anything kind of strange when you worked in the mine? I went down to the bottom level today, and I swore I saw the oddest looking little person. But he had grey skin, and not grey from dust either. But then I blinked and he was gone. I told the foreman, and I can tell he thinks I've lost my marbles. I need your advice. Your son... Eddie. Alright, I guess we need to go find Giva tomorrow to talk to her about what we found. We have two more of those letters for her. Or artifacts. So what's in here? What's inside I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Powered Sapphire. Okay. Let's see. No more chests. Nope. Just the two. And I guess we have quite a bit of energy still may as well get some stuff from here before we go home and get to bed.
one day we need to come here and just uh, mine all day long until we find the key to level 18. All right. Let's save the game here. And um, tomorrow we'll possibly spend the day mining because I would really like to get to level 18. Find more of those chests. Maybe. Hopefully. Uh, but um, we'll see what we end up getting up to tomorrow. For now though. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe. To conveniently keep up with my content. And to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.